Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here, and welcome back to Fortnite Save the World. And, um, I was going to release a different type of video tonight, especially because I thought that I was going to have to wait until tomorrow to do a coming soon video. Uh, if you guys know, they kind of change things. They keep constantly changing around. Sometimes we get uh, patch updates Tuesdays, Wednesdays, or Thursdays. Usually Tuesdays and Thursdays. But for us, it doesn't really matter because we don't really get our updates pushed through until Wednesday afternoon. Now, this is very important to remember, regardless of everything I'm about to say right now. Because I'm about to say a lot of stuff. Now... Um, let's start, let's start with this information here. So we got this tweet right there. Uh, this tweet came out, uh, earlier today that said, get revved up patch version 6.10 rolls out tomorrow, Tuesday, October 16th. Patch notes will be available once downtime begins at 4 a.m. Eastern. Now, for those of you who play Battle Royale, you know why it's revved up. That You guys got that new, <coughs> the new vehicle coming up. It makes a lot of sense. A lot of people are waiting for that. But, um... We in Save the World Land are not used to getting much more information. Also, day 336 tomorrow, day 130, 336, 1K, 1K V-Bucks. That's going to be awesome. So uh, let me go ahead and collect this. And as you guys can see right there, it says version 6.10 client update releases tomorrow, October 16th. Downtime begins at 4 a.m. Eastern. Now, okay. Um... Now, like I said, we in Save the World, we're not really used to getting that much information. I mean, they don't really tweet for us, etc., etc. And for me and a lot of other people, we tend to go to Reddit to see the information there. We've, there's a couple of Epic employees, or at least people who, uh, I guess they have to work for Reddit, uh, who, you know, oh, sorry, they have to work for Epic, who are connected to Epic Games, who post things and usually give us, sometimes give us a little bit more information, sometimes they give us a lot more information. And this right here was posted four hours ago. Now, when I first saw this, I wanted to wait until now to the rollover happened, to the day rollover, because I wanted to see if anything else came out. Um, and I also wanted to, uh, I, I wanted to give myself a second because I wanted to do a little research too. Now, as you guys know, the title of this video is called The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. Um, so let's talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly of what this could potentially mean. It says, send Husk straight to their, to the grave with this returning rifle. Patch version 6.10 rolls out tomorrow, Tuesday, October 16th. Now, again, again, guys, please remember, even though the patch is going to roll out tomorrow morning, we in Save the World, we're not going to get to see any of what's going to be coming out or it's not going to be going live until Wednesday night. Now, that has been the case so far. And that was kind of what happened, you know, with uh, with um, with the previous uh, uh, horde, uh, uh, horde challenges and, and challenge the horde and all that. So I, I don't know. Again, it's all up in the air. I don't know if this means that tomorrow morning when we come back from the rollover, we're going to have this stuff go live or or if this means that we're going to have to wait again till Wednesday night. Now, the one thing we have to wait for to Wednesday night is going to be the shop. You guys know that. By the way, it's a trap llama right now. I'm not going to go for it. Uh, so the shop that you guys can see back there right now, that is what is, that's what we know for sure 100% is going to be live Wednesday night. Now, what could possibly come tomorrow? Now, let's break this down. Before we actually, before we actually talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly about potentially the grave digger return. Um, we do know in the previous developer update that they talked about three things. Canny Valley, mission requirements, and limited time missions. We also know that, fortunately, unfortunately, however you want to look at it, Cram Session is going to leave. Cram Sessions has to go away. They did say it was going to be a mini event. Personally, for me, I kind of hope and, you know, I kind of was hoping that it would stick around the entire time because I'm enjoying it. I personally am enjoying going through, getting all the double rewards and everything. It's It's been nice. And for those of you who have been keeping track, you know that I actually am, I 
In the cramped session time, I got myself over 1.2 million hero experience. Now some of that, yes, was from opening llamas and everything, but most of that experience was honestly from getting, from opening those llamas. Uh, sorry, for, from doing cramped session. Um, doing cramped session has, I've really enjoyed it. I very much enjoyed it. it, it it's what I normally do, and I've been getting twice as much of everything. So that's one thing. Now, I d very much doubt that we're going to see Canny Valley tomorrow. I, I don't think we're going to see Canny Valley Part 2 tomorrow. They did say it was going to be coming up next month, which is going to be in November. So again, I don't think, think we're going to see that. Mission requirements, we do 100% know that this is going to be coming out tomorrow. They did say version 6.1, and that means that you the, the whole taxing system is going to kind of be broken down a little bit, at least in public matches, which is that's where it really matters. And finally, limited time missions. We also know that the limited time missions will be coming. And what are the limited time missions? Limited time missions are the retrieve the data with the zone closing in. Very hyped for that. I'm looking forward to that. We also know that the... What's her name? Um, who? What's her name again? Um, we just talked about her recently. Do, 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 do. Oh, you guys didn't even see what I said before. Oh my goodness. Wait, did you guys even see this? You didn't even see this, did you? You did. Yeah, send house straight to the grave with his turning rifle. Yeah. Patch, yeah, we did, because I read it from there, I think. I think. Anyway, but that's going to be a tweet. Um, but let me see real quick if I can find. So what? what's her name again? The, um, oh, I can just probably just show her here. This. Boom. Here. We know for sure that she's going to be coming tomorrow. Um... Oh, sorry. We don't know for sure if she's coming tomorrow, but it's very possible that we will be getting her tomorrow. So, what does all this mean? Okay. Um, limited time missions really seems really fun. I really want to look forward to that. Also, the taxiing system is going to go away, which honestly, it kind of feels like this whole update. I kind of wish that they were they would just come out and say it because. To me, it feels like very much an anti-scamming update, okay? No longer will people be able to taxi someone who is a much lower level into a much higher area. And then if you are in Candy Valley or Twine Peaks, you're not going to have someone who is much lower level running around uh, threatening to destroy things or, or wreck the, 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 the mission. Or if you don't give them something or asking, you know, for materials or, you know, just not focusing on anything but gathering materials. That is a it is a problem. It is a problem. If you play a lot in, in public, you will see that. Um, it's a problem. OK, when you go into a mission, you kind of want to complete the mission. Right. And you want everyone to do their best, try their best they possibly can. So that that's important. That's important. Next. Is the grave digger coming back? Okay. L let me say this. If it's not coming back, that is an amazing troll. Because all we know is, yes, we're going to send husks straight to the grave. Of course we are. And it's a returning rifle. But there are a bajillion different rifles that could be it. I mean, there's a ton of rifles that we have that could be coming back. Could be the typewriter, could be the Bobcat, could be the Wraith, could be the, the Tiger. There, there's tons of different rifles that could be coming back. If it is a troll, good for them. Good for them. If it's not a troll, let's talk about what that means for the game. And this is why I'm saying it kind of feels like 6.1 is going to be very much an anti-scamming kind of update. Because, as many of you know, the Gravedigger is possibly one of the most coveted pieces in the game of people that people use for trading. Now, personally for me, you guys know my opinion about it. I feel that this game was not designed to be played like that. I don't feel that this game ever 
was meant for trading. I think that the reason why we have schematics is for that. I think that if you have a really great schematic and you want to share with your friends or someone, yeah, you make them one drop and like, hey, check this weapon out here, have it, enjoy it, you know, because weapons have limited durability. The second you start using a weapon, it's going to break eventually. But of course, um, we live in a fantastic world where, you know, the, 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 the law of, of supply and demand is amazing. And of course, people found a way of making money, real world money, through trading stuff in game. Basically, because we can't trade schematics, they found that they could, you know, hoard a certain amount of materials or weapons and trade them for real world money or to lesser extent, just for the rarity of it. And so having something that was rare in the game definitely gave you the capacity to do this trading. Now, does that trading benefit the gameplay at all? No, but the people who are doing it are not doing it for gameplay. People who are doing that, if you guys know, or you've you noticed a lot of these people are much lower levels. You know, they're not actually playing the game. They're not using the weapons to advance in the game. Uh, some people are, and unfortunately, a lot of people do believe that if you have level 130 weapons, you're going to be able to do amazing damage. And yes, you're going to be able to do more damage, but the full potential of a 130 weapon does not unlock until you're in Twine Peaks. So, and you have your heroes all to five stars and everything five stars, yada, yada, yada. So that's, you know, that's a lot of little things that, you know, you know the game doesn't really explain and maybe it would be amazing if there was some sort of a tutorial at the beginning kind of saying you know what a level 130 weapon is not going to help you you know like it's not going to do amazing things for you and there are a lot of people who do spend their real money uh, on on this on these trading sites and a bunch of other things you know that we're not going to get into because as you all know I am very much against that. I don't do not believe in doing anything against the terms of service of a game. And personally, for me, I know a lot of people have asked me for many, many months now, over a year now, what are my opinions on scammers? What's my opinion on trading? What's my opinion on all that? And I put a video out very long ago, actually, uh, that I said, you know, like a guide to not be scammed. And it's simply don't trade. Just don't trade. Um, play the game, you know, and yes, this is an involved game and you are going to spend a massive amount of time and effort and energy to progress in the game. But guess what? It's it's awesome. It's an awesome game. Um, now, what does the Gravedigger coming back, if it comes back exactly the same as it was before, it means that a lot of new people are going to be able to manufacture this Gravedigger. And you know what? I'm not even going to get into the whole thing if it's a good or not a good weapon because personally, I don't have the schematic. I can't test it out for you guys. If I get it, yeah, well, we can test it out. <laughs> but the Grave Diggers, from what I've seen, it's it's a solid weapon. Um, people have let me try some Grave Diggers and personally, I prefer my typewriter over them. But it's it's a pretty solid weapon. I think the typewriter would be the only weapon you could really, really compare it to well. For a very long time, people were comparing the Nocturna to the Grave Digger, but you kind of can't compare it. Uh, they're, they're very different weapons, different caliber of bullet, etc., etc. So now that we've kind of explained, you know, kind of what, you know, what I feel or I've explained kind of what I feel that Epic Games is doing here, um, I guess that could be the good. Let's talk about the bad the bad of this okay so i feel and this is my personal just my personal personal opinion i personally feel that the grave digger is kind of like a a bad not i don't want to say a badge of honor but it's kind of like an achievement for people who focused on completing fort nightmares the first time around um, for those of you who don't know, oh, or I just said it before, but I don't have the Grave Digger. I actually, um, I was during the, I, I only played about halfway. I started halfway through the Fort Nightmares event and I didn't really play the first half of it, maybe more than the first half of it actually. Um, I had a lot of stuff going on and I just didn't have the time to dedicate to it. And you did have to dedicate a lot of time to it. 
uh, to be able to get the Gravedigger, you had to finish a quite a lengthy storyline that took a lot of time and effort. And I, I couldn't put that time into it. Um, at, at that time, too, I didn't know how good certain weapons were. We had no idea the rarity of weapons or what was going to happen. And also, we were also, back then, we were we didn't have the perk recombobulator. So, if you got a weapon, the perks you got is what you were stuck with. And that was it. You had no chance of getting anything better. Uh, there were some pretty good perks back then, back then though, but that's beside the point. So, if the Gravedigger comes back, I personally feel that it's not really that fair to the people who dedicated and put the time and effort into getting the Gravedigger back then. If you're talking, if you're saying that you know what, the Gravedigger is a super OP weapon, no it's not. It's a good weapon, but if, you, if you've been playing recently and you have the typewriter or a any number of other weapons that we have right now we get so many weapons and they're all so good and we can only use three at a time and so to me personally it's kind of like you know what there are a ton of other weapons you can learn to use a bunch of other weapons is it fair that people back then who played it got it and people who didn't play later didn't get it yeah that that's like the definition of fair <laughs> you know it's just it's just how it is you know um i could want you know what is it fair that some people have a comic book from like the 1970s or 80s you know and everyone else doesn't have it yeah because they were around back then they bought it back then it's just that's just you know that's just how things are uh just because it's a game that i have bought doesn't mean that you know i should get everything right away should in it that's my personal opinion though um i feel that the people who did have the grave digger you know what congratulations for them good for them for working through it to completing the fortnite Bros event and for getting that weapon back then getting that schematic i didn't do it um now if it's gonna come back right now of course i'm gonna try and get it i mean come on but uh i kind of feel like you know that that to me kind of loses a lot of like I hope that the people who did get it before get something special. Like, they get, like, a stamp on, on theirs. I, I I don't know. I don't know. They get something else. Who knows? Uh, whatever. Um, okay, so let's wrap this up. And let me kind of let me kind of wrap this up. So, I was kind of thinking of, of th what, what this could possibly mean for the game. And I have to say, and, and, and this is kind of where we talk about the ugly we've talked about the good we've talked about the bad now potentially the ugly for me is how are these how are these weapons going to be presented in the game how is the next event going to be presented um the m cram sessions the mini event cram sessions it, it really wasn't anything new um, of course, it's a big game. I know they're constantly working on it, hopefully, and they're continue continuously to working on it. But like the next event, the the uh, the, the limited time missions that's going to be coming on the the the, the, the the what's it called? Retrieve the data. Like I said before, when we first heard about it, to me personally, it kind of sounds like a it kind of sounds like they're bringing in certain factors to entice the battle royale player to play because yeah retrieve the data can be a quick mission it can be a fun mission in all honesty the way that this they described it um i'm kind of surprised they didn't introduce that into battle royale as a game mode uh when we've been seeing how it is i mean apart from the husks you have to think about it if if they were to introduce if they weren't to do that like like the way they've described it completely even with the husks like think about it you're in battle royale you've got you know you've you've got everyone has to rush to like a mountain or something where uh or, or rush to somewhere in the map where um or the raiders coming down and then you have to build to defend it not only from the other team and the enemies or everyone else but also from a horde of husks that's coming in i think that that sounds more to me like because at the same time you've got all the other factors of of battle royale you've got the incoming storm and all that you know you've got a very limited time kind of thing to me it kind of sounds like a very much an introduction to that and to me that's great i mean i think that's a wonderful thing now what i mean by the ugly is did they spend more time 
trying to figure that out, trying to figure out a way to introduce Battle Royale players into Save the World, then potentially working on a Fort Nightmares event. Now, for those of you who remember, Fort Nightmares was huge. It was a huge event. And I mean, like, the, well, the Blockbuster event started pretty good, but then it kind of yeah, fizzled out. Uh, but we've, ha we've had some really good storyline progression kind of events. Um, and the Fort Nightmares was classic. Fort Nightmares was amazing. The maps, the story, everything was really, really wonderful. And to me, I, I, personally, I would love to replay the previous Fort Nightmares event. Like, I think it would be awesome. I think it would be really awesome to replay that whole thing because honestly, I don't remember half the things apart from the fact that we were trying to, you know, well, we never even defeated Vlad, did we? Actually, no, I don't think so because I didn't get that far. Didn't, didn't Ray get possessed or something? I, I forget. Anyway, anyway, I feel that this could potentially be really good for the game but again i hope that they are not doing this and i hope they're not bringing back the gravedigger as a way of you know giving people something that they want but at the same time trying to take attention away from the fact that there hasn't been more progression on the game Maybe they've been working on some other stuff. Maybe there's been some really, really complicated stuff happening behind the scenes that we don't know about. Uh, maybe, you know, there's other stuff that we, we don't know what's going on. But I think that at this point in the game, it would be really nice to see well thought out, story filled, you know, like character development events. I don't know how hard it is to program those. I don't know how difficult it is for them to work on that. I do believe that a lot of people are buying Save the World and have bought it. And I think that a lot of people are still spending V-Bucks on it from Save the World. So it's it. Their, the income should be there. If the income is there, then hopefully they can put the time and effort and, you know, financial backing into developing Save the World even more. But that's my opinion. That's my opinion about it all. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think about this. I'm very excited to see exactly what the patch notes bring. I, I'm i sad to see mini, uh, the mini event, the cram sessions go away. And I'm curious to see if we get another llama. If we get an event tomorrow, 6.1. You know, I kind of wish they would have said just something Fortnite versus coming back. I kind of feel like it's not coming back yet. I think it might be a well more. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys, as always. I am DJ2. This has been talking about Save the World. <sighs> Thanks a lot for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.